2.3 once again taking another step ahead so far this unit's been about learning how to distribute the outside value to inside values in order to build your confidence and understanding problems have been watered down just a bit actually a whole lot uh, today we're going to take another step towards the actual level that you're going to be expected to work with so before we get there let's make sure we review quickly in terms of what we've seen so far three things we focused on how to multiply a number by a variable knowing that we cannot combine a number term with a variable term and then also multiplying a negative times a positive so these two are friends we learned to say that three meets x always use a plus to connect because that means and three meets negative seven three times x is just a regular three x but here we have a positive times a negative which means it's negative 21. all right here three friends nine meets t and nine meets negative u and nine meets six here this turns into nine t but here again we have a negative times a positive which makes minus nine u and then nine times six which is a positive 54. so that is what we've seen so far our new information is going to have numbers actually attached to the variable now. Uh, the official name for that number is a coefficient. Take a second and see if you can identify the coefficients in each of these terms here. Again, the coefficient is the number attached to the variable. So in this term, because that's called a term, your coefficient is 8. In this term, your coefficient is not 3, it is negative 3 because you've got to respect the variable attached or the sign attached to it. In this term, your coefficient is negative 7. And in this term is kind of tricky. You can't see a number, but a number is there. And here's what you can think about. How many p's do you see here? 1. And that's because we don't write the number one there because that's a assumed part since you see a p there so in this case your coefficient is one so again we'll see that a few times we'll make sure we work on that and we'll go from there the only difference between the work from before is that we multiply the coefficient and still leave the variable alone so what we did before was three times t well three times t is just three t but if we did eight times five g we're going to multiply the 8 by the 5, which is 40, and we're just going to bring the G down with it because that's what it needs to be. All right. So that is the adjustment that we're making today. So here, when we have 2 times 7V, yes, we multiply the 2 times 7 to get 14, but then we bring the V down with it. 9 times 6Y, we multiply the 9 and 6 to get 54, and we bring the Y down because it's still part of that connection there in multiplication. So again, that is the new part. So now that we've looked at the new processes, let's go ahead and put it all together. Again, keeping in mind all the things we've been working on every day. So real quick, you have 3x as a term, 6 as a term, 5 on the outside as a term, and now we say that 5 meets 3x and 5 meets 6. 5 times 3x, remember we're going to multiply the 5 by 3, which is 15, and then bring down your x. 5 times 6 is just a regular 30, and there is your answer. Remember, we do not put these two together because that has an X on it. That does not, so we can't do anything at all when it has just a plus sign. Here, we have 9X as a term, negative 4 as a term, and 3 as a term on the outside. So 3 meets 9X, and 3 meets negative 4. You then go ahead and work that out. 3 times 9x is going to be 27 with an x attached. And then 3 times negative 4, hey, there's a negative times a positive, which makes a negative 12 because a negative times a positive is negative. Again, that's something we've been working on, trying to make sure we get used to. So very briefly, go ahead and uh, pause the video and see how you do on this one. That way you can check yourself. And if you have any issues, talk to your teacher or email them and let them know you're having issues so we can try to get you on track. I'm going to go ahead and go over it now. In this problem, 7, H, and 8 are the inside terms that know each other. 3 is the outside term, so we're going to say that 3 meets 7, H, and, because always a plus, 3 meets 8. 
here, 3 times 7H, remember you multiply the numbers, so 21H, 3 times 8 is 24. That's all. All right, so again, can't put this together with that because that has an H that does not, and they do not go together. Again, go ahead and pause the video. See how you do, and if you have any major issues, make sure you communicate with your teacher ASAP. Moving on now. 4R is a term. Negative 6 is a term. The other term is 9. Here, 9 meets 4R, and always using a plus, 9 meets negative 6. When you multiply 9 by 4R, 9 times 4 is 36, but we bring down the R. 9 times negative 6, hey, there's a negative times a positive, which is negative 54. So all these negative rules that we're starting to get to, that's really the toughest part of kind of adjusting the algebra. But again, all that stuff, we're moving at a pace where it shouldn't be too bad for you. But again, if it does get tough, make sure you talk to us. Remember to continue to be diligent on showing your work. The quiz for this week will count the meeting step as one point. So if you're starting to eliminate writing this because you don't like to, because you think you're getting too good, that's going to cost you half of your points if you don't write it. So um, just be careful because practice makes permanent. Choosing not to show it now could hurt you more than you'd like. So just be careful. And again, make sure you're practicing for the quiz. Ask for help as you need it. And outside of that, good luck. And we'll talk to you later.